Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Are you the registered owner of the car? Yes, I am. Okay. You don't have a driver's license. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Okay. I actually just took care of that. You just took care of it? Yeah. Okay. Well, just so you know, you're being audio and video recorded. Do you have your driver's license with you? And do you have the registration insurance with you? So you said you just took care of the driver's license being suspended? Yes, I turned into the um, license to go downtown, and I paid him how many bucks to get in. Okay. When was that that you did that? A few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Okay. I should have been taken care of. Is there any way you missed the payment on that relicensing program? Well, it's monthly, and it was just a few weeks ago. I couldn't have missed the payment. Okay. Well, I'll go back and double check it, but right now it is saying that you're suspended. So, we'll see what it says, okay? That looks like the registration there. Did you have insurance in the car? Yes, I do, Lavin. I have my insurance card from before I You don't have it in the car with you? No. Okay, well, there's no way I can check it without having the actual card. Are you sure you don't have a card in there? Okay. And is your address still on Cowley? That's your current address? Any alcohol or marijuana or medication tonight? Nope. Okay, so type you in a second, okay?
614. Take a 513 stop. Go ahead. Boy, So here's the thing. Your driver's license does show suspended. Okay. It shows that you have a reissue fee due on your license. So I don't know if that was, I, I'm not sure where the communication failure is between um, the relicensing program and the Department of Licensing or court or whatever. But it shows that you do have a $75 reissue fee due with the Department of Licensing. So maybe that's why you're still showing suspended. And it shows still suspended, it shows that you actually went suspended on June 20th and that you're suspended until 2024 if you don't take care of it. Okay, so um, so here's the thing. Here's your license. It's actually an ID card because it's not valid right now, right? But in your registration. Uh, you're going to need to call somebody to come and get you or to pick your car up. You can't drive from here. Okay. Um, I already called my sister. She's on her way. Okay, so here's the thing. You are technically under arrest. I'm not going to take you to jail. You're going to be released with a ticket for driving on a suspended license. If it truly is, in fact, a fault of the Department of Licensing or whatever, you can take that information, take it to court, and explain it to the judge, okay? You do have a court date right here. I circled it for you on October 2nd at 9 a.m. It's down at Spokane County Courthouse, okay? Do you understand that? Okay. And you're also going to be given a notice of infraction for failing to have insurance in here. But if you do have insurance, like you told me, take that down to the court, and they will dismiss that. Do you understand that? But you have to do that, okay? Any questions? I don't do things. Okay. I appreciate it. Don't drive from here, please, because I don't want to. I don't want to see you drive again until you have a good valid license, okay? I really thought I did. I, I'm not saying you didn't, but the Department of Licensing, like I said, there was a communication error somewhere. Whether they told you that you had a valid license or not, I don't know. 
but you're going to have to get that stuff taken care of before you go to court is your best. Okay. Okay. Okay, it says that you're suspended, right here, suspended date, 6 14 and you're released from that suspension date for unpaid tickets on 5 2 2024 That just means if you don't pay your issue fee or your fines or anything like that. It doesn't mean that you can't take care of it before then. It's just saying if you do nothing, that you're suspended until 2024. Okay? Any questions? I hope you have a better night.